Hello, hello, this is TikTok Gaming here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be over the top complaints for MTG that MTG Arena players have. So, uh, the forums just recently got a rework, the MTG Arena forums, and uh, they got rid of the suggestions and complaints section. So, uh, uh, I actually compiled this before they got rid of that, so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at uh, what were the most, like, the top complaints, or the complaints that were most recently posted, and just to see what people are really complaining about. Okay, so, um, I guess the first complaint. Hi, all the levels have been reached, and I keep earning points for the track, but they go nowhere. That's 500 per day, plus the extras on the end of the week also. Could we get some gems for all those points? Or have the points go into a pool that we can exchange for in-game loot, like card backs or whatever we like, since we have worked that hard to get there. It would be nice to not have a waste of points until, uh, until the changeover in October. I have finished last week and get nothing else for those points. Please make them useful with the, the coast. So what he's referencing is the mastery pass, and that if you get to level 100 earlier by buying levels, which I believe is the only way to get ahead, um, that you don't get anything, you know, you get the stuff quicker, but you don't get anything afterwards, and, uh, if you guys want to go check out my, uh, previous video, I talked about some things that we, uh, that they announced in the live stream, but they announced that they have a plan for this, so players who have reached level 100, they're gonna end up getting something for that XP in the next update, so, uh, this one was resolved. It's super annoying to have to turn off card styles manually every time I draft a deck. I don't like styles at all, but it keeps being forced onto me uh, to get them as 7 dash win rewards, or the end of the season ranked rewards, or something even even when I try to avoid acquiring them through codes or the mastery tree. Currently, unchecking the auto apply card styles option doesn't do anything, and I would highly appreciate if it worked properly. So this person doesn't like the way styles looks and want them to be able to disable them, you know, automatically applying them. There is an option for that, but it's not working. So they have not addressed this, but uh, of course the update hasn't come out yet. So, interesting. Can we get at least basic stats on our win-loss record, average time per game, and how many games we conceded? I think this would be a really good idea. Um, just, you know, uh, give players more information. I guess that could cause people to start raging and quitting, but it could also be like, well, I need to improve, so here's how I improve. Um, it, yeah, I think that's just a really good idea. I'd like a feature where after the game is over, I can look at and interact with the board. I've, I'd like to be able to look at my graveyard, maybe even look at the deck. That would help me track my games better and see why I lost and what worked well. Wouldn't be hard to implement. Thank you. So, um, this is now, like, the second or third post, which is just information. They just want more information about what's happening. Not more stuff, just be able to better manage their playing. So that seems to be a common theme. I want to be able to better manage how I'm doing and better manage all of that information so that way I can make better decisions. Arena needs more game mode, or Are Ariana <laughs> needs more game modes like Commander. Um... Well, we are getting Historic in November. We are getting Brawl by the end of 2019, so I think uh, this complaint has been thoroughly addressed. I don't think Commander's ever coming, because that would require a lot of cards. Um, however, I could see a Historic Brawl coming to the game, which I think would be very interesting, and I, I think that Brawl, if it doesn't come in Historic, will be a flop on it. Well, not a flop on MTG Arena, but it'll be very disappointing to me that I can't use all my cards. That's kind of what I like about Commanders. I have this giant selection, and so I'd love to be able to use all of my selection. Collection. I can scroll and highlight the ones I haven't, but I can't scroll over and see any of the orbs that's in place. Kind of annoying. So for those who don't know what this is talking about, this is talking about the mastery tree. When you redeem a mastery orb for a uh, like a uh, style, you can't actually see what that style was. So if you wanted to know what the first style was in the white track, well, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Uh, it, it just doesn't let you. Uh, and I, I, that is kind of annoying, and I feel like it's unnecessary. So I feel like that might be something that's fixed. Everything, something a lot of people need to remember that this was the first time doing a mastery pass, and they even said, we're going to be making lots of changes, so this could be one of the changes. I would like things from older bundles to be added to the shop. I've noticed, or at least I can find, old bundles get removed from the store. There are things that I wanted from those bundles, but, but was unable to save up for the gems in time. Now that I have enough gems, they are no longer available there. 
for some uh, specific examples, like the Bolas bundle and the Amass bundle that have come out of the war, that had come out of War of the Spark. None of the items in the bundles are available for single sale, and now they are completely unavailable. So this person saying, "Hey, there's these awesome bundles. I wanted them. They're gone now. I want, you know, I want to be able to buy them." Again, this was in, uh, announced in the last uh, in the last video I did. They talked about how a bunch of, or at least a couple. Uh, cosmetics that were in bundles are being released individually with the Throne of Eldraine uh, update. I uh, Again, I, uh, I, I'm going to get to a major point at the end of the video, but you'll see. Is there a way we can set up our in-game preferences, what we would like as our default basic land art would be? So that's when you, when the auto deck builder fills in the basic, it knows to just put the style instead of making us remove and manually add our preferred style every time. For example, now that I have unhinged lands, I want those to be the default for every deck for the foreseeable future. But it gets tedious to manually have to remove lands and find my unhinged art style for every deck I build. I agree. I think that we should be able to set a uh, manual, like, or I want this to be my land, or at least I'd like to be able to click on a stack of basic lands and just swap all of them to that art instead of having to remove them all and then add them. Like, click and drag the art and it just replaces it. I think that needs to be handled better. It would be a good idea for players if the client displays a clock with the computer time like other games. A small clock in the bottom right hand corner, for example like the Windows default in the client settings, could be a checkbox to enable and disable the clock. When we play or playing in full screen you need to press alt tab to see the current time. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I want to be able to see the time when I'm playing. Um, I, I, I'm not for this or against it, I wear a watch all the time so it doesn't really bother me as well as I have two uh, monitors, so I pretty much always know the time, but I do see where it could be useful. Um, yeah. On Arena, I draft every time I can, meaning when I get 5k gold, of course, and when I occasionally buy bundles of gems in the shop. But that only allows me to a few drafts every week. I would absolutely love to play more draft. I think it would increase my uh, time playing on Arena a lot. And I know what would bring a lot of friends to Arena too, because playing draft is something that materially can't be done easily on tabletop. You are forced to truly consume a booster every time you open a booster. Uh, so what they're asking for here, this was actually part of a larger post, and I figured this showed uh, the situation the best, is that they want like phantom drafts uh, where you don't get to keep the cards. Maybe it's like a thousand gold, but you just play the event and then you get the rewards at the end, but you don't get to keep the cards you drafted. I think it's a fun format because you're not worried about, oh, this isn't going to be good for my deck, but it's not, but it's a rare and I feel like I need to grab that rare. So, um... Yeah, I think this would be a great addition to the game. Uh, one thing that we do need to worry about, though, is that with Historic and Brawl coming, with all these new game modes, how is that going to dilute matchmaking? Because now everyone plays in ranked and play. I know there are other game modes, um, but, you know, those are the most popular game modes. Now when you add three, three, you know, if you add two more types of game modes, you're going to start diluting it, and match times are going to start getting higher, and you're going to get paired up against harder or on more unbalanced matches so i think that they need to be careful in how they implement it and try to evenly split everything but right now they have such a large player base i don't know if that's that big of a deal that's it i wanted to do uh more than that but they updated the forms and now there is no like complaint section but i really wanted to go through these again not in detail but if you notice things that w let me just point this out i want something for when i get to level 100 they are working on that they, uh, they said they're making mastery changes. They didn't confirm whether they're working on this. Um, they haven't confirmed that. They haven't confirmed that. They've done this. They're, they said, oh, more game modes are coming. Uh, I'm sure they're probably going to fix this. But my point is, uh, like, okay, the things from older bundles. This is a much better example. Things from older bundles, uh, more game modes, things when you reach level 100. These were all very recent things posted on the forums. And they're, they're, they're responding, and they're like, yes, we see you want this, so we are doing this. They are doing a lot better job than normal Wizards of the Coast people, like for Paper Magic. Um, they're do they respond so much better. They take the feedback, and they, they like... They, they actually do it. Like, when people didn't like the mastery system, they changed it. They're not like, oh, we're going to wait till the next mastery tree. Oh, we're not going to, you know. They changed it right like a week after it was released and i think i i hope the same thing happens with the whole wild card issue as i think it's kind of ridiculous that you're paying two times the wild cards for cards that are can be used in half uh you know half of the formats compared to standard cards and i get that they're a standard game and historic is just a way for people 
not to complain as much about having a lot of their cards sent away. I just, they, they seem excited about Historic. Like, oh, this is this new thing and we want it to be really popular. But then they do something like that and I think, I hope they go through and change that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.